Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well. Today, we'll be playing some Flash games and uh, we'll be having the computer do all of the dirty work for us. Roll the intro. No more saying cuss words, guys! It's inappropriate and violent! If you say a cuss word, then you're like... Going to jail? If you don't know what Flash games are, they are basically a relic of the past. They're web browser games a lot of kids grew up with, including me. These Flash games were created with and played through Adobe Flash Player, which was shut down two years ago. Thankfully, thousands of these games have been preserved, and you can still play them through emulators like Ruffle. So what I'm going to do today is revisit some of these games and use my programming knowledge to obliterate them. We're going to automate three Flash games in this video. Sprinter, Gunblood, and a Pop Tropica mini game. Hopefully, at least one of these games rings a bell to you. I picked these games specifically because they're pretty difficult to beat if you are a human. If you want to beat them, you have to have an insane reaction time and good hand eye coordination. And a computer can do both of these things a hundred times better, nay, a million times better than a human being. But before we get started, I'd like to share with you guys an easy to use tool called Demo Creator by Wondershare, today's sponsor. Video is one of the most effective ways to share your ideas with others and with an audience. And as a video content creator, I believe you need something that can take your interests, ideas, and talents and showcase them in a video format. That something is Demo Creator. Demo Creator is an all-in-one screen recorder and video editing software that allows you to create video presentations effortlessly. It comes with a ton of features that enable you to easily and quickly create content even with zero editing skills. To get started, simply download and open the app, then click record. You can easily capture yourself in any screen or window you want at the same time. Demo Creator has loads of tools, such as the video presentation tool, which allows you to create stunning video presentations. You can even turn yourself into a virtual avatar if you do not want to use the camera. I find this feature really interesting because it is done through computer vision and motion tracking. And I can imagine how they did this because I've studied this topic before as I've made programs for hand and eye tracking. In addition, Demo Creator has a video editing tool that supplies you with cool built-in features and templates to make your life easier, such as video effects and transitions, a voice changer, and sound effects. To motivate you all, I challenge you guys to free download Demo Creator and use the video presentation tool to share your videos with the tag present with Demo Creator. Thank you to Wondershare Demo Creator for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. Our first game is Sprinter. The objective of this game is pretty straightforward. You play as a sprinter and you have to beat all of your opponents in a 100 meter race. There are six teams you have to beat in order to completely win the game, each more difficult than the last. The controls for this game are two inputs, the left and right arrow key, which you press repeatedly in turns to run. The faster you press the keys, the faster you run. And if you don't press the keys in an orderly fashion, you will trip and fall. Now this game sounds very easy and simple, and it is. In the beginning, it's all rainbows and sunshine, but towards the end, this game will have you going like this. Because this game only has two inputs, automating it is painfully easy. I can control the keyboard using a Python module called PyInput, and I can use the press and release functions to automate a key press. This piece of code presses the right and left arrow keys in a loop that repeats every nanosecond, or one billionth of a second. If you want to see how fast that is, I'll run the program and show you how the cursor behaves. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Alright, our first contestants will be these kids in the school child rally. I almost feel bad for the amount of dust they're going to have to eat in this race. As you can see, these little shitheads didn't stand a chance. That was so easy, I can't even count this race as a warm up. Next up is the physical festival. And unfortunately for these ladies, their fate will be the exact same as the last team. Now I'm not sure if they're trying to run or fly because what the f are they doing with their arms? I don't think they're taking this competition seriously. 
Ran so quick they're out of frame. Let's go. Now, it's the high school competitions. After this race, these guys are going to wish they spent less time on extracurricular activities and more time in the classroom. I'll outpace them so hard they're all going to end up in last place. Another W for your boy Ardens. It's getting a little serious now with the National Sports Festival. The only thing national about this race is how I'll embarrass all of them on national television. They give it their all, but it amounts to nothing. We are now in the Olympics. It must have taken these guys years of hard work to get to this point. But sadly for them, this is going to be the moment they all realize that dreams don't always come true. Better luck next time guys, y'all only have to wait another 4 years. It is now the finale, the Galaxy Athletic Meets. I'm not sure how these guys are even allowed to compete in this race given that they're not of the human race, but oh well it doesn't matter, we'll be sending these Roger looking freaks back to where they came from. I'm going to show them why we are the superior race, and that is the human race. Yeah, let's go! Pack your bags and get the hell out of my country, you illegal aliens! What? They're, uh, they are actual aliens. From outer space. Extraterrestrial. Alright? Alright, it. <laughs> it's whatever. Okay, the next game we're going to automate is called Gunblood. Gunblood is a western shootout game where you play as a cowboy and have duels with an opponent. You know those dramatized Hollywood western films where characters face off in a duel, staring at each other, and the fastest and most accurate character wins? It's kind of like that. There are 9 rounds in total and after every successful duel, you are met with another more challenging opponent and your odds of survival greatly decrease. If you do not have good hand-eye coordination and a fast reaction time, in other words, a video game sweat, there is absolutely no way you can beat all 9 rounds. The mouse is the only control for this game. You begin by hovering the mouse over the revolver cylinder at the bottom left corner for 3 seconds. When you see fire, you shoot at your opponent and try to take them out first. And if you move your mouse too early, the timer will restart. I'd also like to point out that if you get a headshot, that is an instant kill. This game is also very easy to automate. The program for it only contains 4 lines of code. I'm using PyAuto GUI to control the mouse and here's how the code works. Basically, I move the mouse to the coordinates on the screen where the revolver is located. I wait for 1.735 seconds and then move and click the mouse to the coordinates on the screen where the head of my opponent is located. The reason why I wait 1.735 seconds and not 3 seconds before shooting is because I've tested it in the code and it was way too slow. I tested how much I could decrease the reaction time and that's what I ended up with. And it is crazy fast. Let's begin. The last game we're going to automate is a Poptropica mini game called Poptastic. I don't know how many of you grew up playing Poptropica, but it was definitely one of my all time favorites. I remember looking up walkthroughs on YouTube because I couldn't figure out how to solve a problem. But anyway, in this game, you have these balloon animals that I'm assuming are trying to kill you and you need to pop them before they get too close. Automating this game is a little bit more complex than the last two games, but it's still very simple to do. We're going to have the computer take a screenshot of the game region and have it detect the balloon animals, or more specifically, the colors of the balloon animals. PyAuto GUI has a function called getPixel and it enables us to obtain the RGB values of a pixel in a screenshot. After we've got that information, we create a for loop that checks every 10th pixel on the screen and if the pixel matches the color of the balloon animals, we simply call this click function. I'm using a different module for the mouse click because it is way faster than the one PyAuto GUI provides. Now let's see this program in action.
that went better than I expected. This is my first video in 2023 and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on your way out. That would help me a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already and also join my Discord server. And I think that's about it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank <music> you.